Hello, my name is David Lance, and I am the author of a book called Think Like Jesus, Lead Like Moses, Leadership Lessons from the Wilderness Crucible. One of the things that I like to do in talking about the leadership lessons that I discuss in my book is to use movies to illustrate the Ten Principles. Now, perhaps you've seen the movie, The Ten Commandments, starring Charlton Heston. In that movie, he is portrayed as being strong, courageous, handsome, has the knowledge and wisdom of the Egyptians, just as Acts chapter 7 describes Moses. Well, one day, he gets it into his mind that he needs to rescue the Hebrews and lead them out of bondage. And so, as the story goes, he kills one of the Egyptian taskmasters. But he's surprised that the Hebrews don't follow along with him and recognize that he has come to save them. Now, there is a companion movie, a cartoon version of that, called The Prince of Egypt. And in that version, the character of Moses demonstrates the fact that he discovers that everything he believes about himself is a lie. And as a consequence, he loses total confidence in himself and his own abilities to do anything. And so Moses goes into the wilderness, he goes into the desert, he becomes a herder of sheep, and basically has no issues with regard to people management problems. I mean, after all, sheep don't play office politics. He spends the next 40 years in the background, away from people not having to lead a single person. But then you know God finds Moses at the burning bush, and through a series of events, brings Moses back to lead the children of Israel out of bondage. And what Moses learns through that whole story is that he cannot rely on his own self-courage, he cannot rely on his own self-confidence. Rather, he must trust God and have God-courage, he must have God-confidence. Well, I had to learn that lesson the hard way. Back in 1992, I was asked to become the state director of the Indiana Christian Coalition in terms of uh, public policy and lobbying and politics. Well, I have a master's degree in public administration, I've been a lobbyist, I'm a professional speaker, and they were going to give me 55,000 names from the Pat Robertson for President campaign that I could use for fundraising purposes, plus I was going to have a business and businessman back me all the way. And I thought to myself, I can do this. But then uh, the floor fell out from underneath me. The businessman that was going to support me, well, his business went bankrupt. I never saw those 55,000 names, and to add insult to injury, the IRS audited me. Now, fortunately for me, the government ended up owing me money instead of the other way around. But through the whole process, I came to near financial ruin. And so, like Moses, I learned that I couldn't rely on myself. I couldn't rely on self-confidence or self-courage, but rather that I needed God-confidence. I needed God-courage. And so, in studying the life of Moses and thinking about uh, my own life and how it's worked out, I've discerned that this is the foundational principle that underlies the first of the ten leadership principles on becoming a godly leader that I talk about in my book, Think Like Jesus, Lead Like Moses. And that first principle is, gain courage by trusting the Lord. Now, I hope that you enjoy reading this month's issue of Conversations with the Culture, where I use the money uh, movie The Prince of Egypt to uh, illustrate some of these leadership con uh, consequences in this first principle. Uh, to learn more about me and my book, Think Like Jesus, Lead Like Moses, Leadership Lessons from the Wilderness Crucible, please visit me on my website at wisejargon.com. Thanks so much, and God bless.